The United States has over 500,000 dams in our rivers. Many of these dams are as small as a few feet tall, but some are also very large, up to hundreds of feet high. 65% of dams are privately owned, while the federal government owns 4%. The rest are owned by states, localities, public utilities, and tribes. Dams can serve a variety of purposes, which can include generating power, storing water supplies, providing flood control, and recreation. Despite common perceptions, less than 3% of dams in the country are used to provide hydroelectric power, 19% are used for flood risk reduction, and 18% for water supply and irrigation. Many of the remaining dams no longer serve the purpose they were originally built to provide. The cost of maintaining dams can be expensive. Many responsible dam owners are looking for help removing their dams because they are a liability and are costing them significant money without providing significant revenue. Older dams can and do fail, often with disastrous results, including loss of life. In the U.S., around 20 dams fail on average each year. Beyond failures, dams damage river ecosystems and habitats. Fish activity and movement are especially impacted. Fish that depend on flowing water and clean riverbeds for their habitat have populations dwindle in areas where there are dams. Dams change the quality of the water by causing stagnation. This increases temperatures, lowers oxygen levels in the water, toxic algae outbreaks, and releases methane. Free-flowing rivers do not produce methane. Stagnant water does. Reservoirs behind dams produce 797 kilotons of methane annually. Methane is a greenhouse gas, 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide. The reductions in fish populations and water quality also disrupt traditional cultural practices and food sources of tribal nations and other indigenous populations. Fortunately, there's a solution. We can solve these problems by removing outdated, unsafe, and uneconomical dams. Dam removals are carefully planned, including analyzing and managing for potential sediment and infrastructure issues. Free-flowing rivers promote healthy habitat for wildlife, reduce flood risk to communities, and support cultural traditions. Up to 60% of all dams in our country are unnecessary, harmful, or even dangerous. We know that removing a dam is the single most impactful way to restore river health, and we're committing to removing 30,000 harmful dams by 2050. This would open 300,000 miles of river to allow healthy fish populations to migrate and spawn freely without obstructions, to ensure cool, clean water for communities, to create a safe environment for recreation, and to begin to restore cultural impacts. For decades, American Rivers has led a national movement to restore rivers by removing dams that are doing more harm than good. To learn more and to find out how you can be part of the solution, visit AmericanRivers.org today.